If you'd like to see how I'm going to transform these hand towels into lovely luxury Chanel logo towels like these and these other bathroom decor items, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube. So today in this video, I am going to be adding some decorations and embellishments to these items. This is a set of towels. I'm going to make some DIY decorative towels to go along with the theme I have for my bathroom. I'm going to be doing a series of videos and I'm gonna have them all in the same playlist because I'm re redecorating my bathroom and I'm doing multiple things to the bathroom. So I don't wanna put everything all in the same video because it would be way too long. So this video is gonna be about the towels and I'm going to decorate this vase. It's like a cylinder little vase I believe I got this from Dollar Tree, if I'm not mistaken. I believe I purchased this from either Walmart or the Dollar Tree. I'm going to add a decal, a yellow decal. My bathroom is going to be gray, silver, and yellow. So it's like dark colors, but the yellow is going to be my pop of color. So I'm going to add this decal and add some embellishments to it and probably put some type of like stem um, flowers or I'm not sure what they're called, but I'm gonna put some type of flowers in here or some type of greenery in here. Then next, um, I'm, I'm going to add the some Chanel drip heat transfer uh, to this towels because this is my theme that I have for my bathroom. I have other accessories that I've embellished. I'll have all of those videos available for you to see how I did my other accessories. So I cut these out um, and I'm going to heat transfer these on with my heat press. And then also, I have this mirror here from the Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to do with this is add on this little quote from the Bible. With God, all things are possible. And this is yellow as well. That'll be my color pop. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with the tiles because I already have my heat press on. So I'm just going to cut these out and lay them how I want them to be on the tiles. And to cut this out, I did use my um, Silhouette Cameo. I know some people may have a Cricut. Um, they pretty much do the same thing. I'm not too familiar with the Cricut. I've never owned one, but I really, really do like the Silhouette Cameo. So just go ahead and keep watching you guys. Okay, so just make sure that you lay your tiles in the right position and that you have your logo straight. You don't want anything to be crooked. So these are the face tiles, and I'm just trying to line them up the best way. And once I line them up, I'll go ahead and just press them on 330 uh, degrees for 15 seconds on my heat press, or a little bit less than that. Now, if you don't have a heat press, you can use an iron, but it has to be on a very flat surface on the highest setting you have, and you have to have the steam cut off. And I think that you'll be able to do this with your iron um, with no problems. Okay, so I showed you how I put them on my heat press and now I'm just going to, they've cooled off enough. Well, really with this glitter, you can peel it off warm. It's just a little bit warm. I'm just gonna go ahead and peel that off and see how this turns out. I haven't put any vinyl on a towel in a long time. I like to pull downward, okay. A little bit of this, I could probably run it back under the heat press simply because I didn't unfold it here, so this flap was there. So I'll just take this part alone and, and press it again. But yes, I think this was a success. And if you don't wanna go with the Chanel logo, of course, what you can do is maybe put um, your family's um, last name, you can put your family's monogram on here. Um, you can put just the first letter of your last name, you know, whatever you want to do. It's up to you. You can put whatever your heart desires, but I'm just going to throw some ideas out there for you guys. If you're considering making over your bathroom or if you're going to a housewarming and you were invited to a housewarming, 
or even if you're going to go to off to a, a dorm or something and you just want to label your own things or maybe your initials so people know it's your tiles i don't know but i think this is a really cute idea um a nice affordable way to have some customized tiles and if you don't have a cutter another option for you you can buy some really some really pretty ribbon or some fabric and you can cut out some different shapes um for example let me show you this um sequence fabric i have these are just decorative tiles you don't even have to use them they're just to glam up your bathroom that's really what these are for now if you don't have a cutter because someone will probably say well what can i do if i don't have a cutter i have this colorful um sequence you don't have to get this colorful kind or whatever fabric you like or if it's just something sparkly to match your bathroom decor cut out a cute strip and just put it across the towel either use hot glue because you're probably not gonna use the tiles like for real anyway use some hot glue or get some aliens um fabric fusion and that should make it to where even if you wash it it should stay on so that's just another idea for you guys out there who don't have a cutter okay and I'm not sure if I'll show you how these look in my bathroom yet because I'm gonna do a whole video putting all my accessories together in my bathroom. So we're gonna move on to the next thing. But yeah, you just fold your little towel like that and that's how it'll be. Okay, so right here I'm just lining up the logo. I'm adding it on to this little cylinder jar. And it's really pretty. This is going to be the yellow color pop that I had mentioned before. Once I have this all smoothed on really good, I'm gonna pull this off and add on some yellow jelly AB rhinestones to really give it that extra glam effect. Now, again, you don't have to add rhinestones to your setup. You can just use the logo and that'll be fine just like that. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what glue I have in this. It's a little creamy. Okay, so I believe this is called One Dot Not A Lot. It's in a precision tip bottle. And I purchased this glue from Amazon. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to trace out the decal with the glue and begin to add the rhinestones and just fill it up. This is optional. If you like the decal on there just like this, that's perfectly fine. Go with that. I'm going to add the rhinestones because I just want it to have a little shimmer to it because that's, that's my theme of what I'm going for for this particular um, project. Once I have this lined up properly, I'll go ahead and press this on, use some type of scraper and smooth it on evenly. I think this is a really cute idea and this was only a dollar from the Dollar Tree 
and just look at how you can just glam it up with a wonderful message. It could be a religious message or it could just be like a cute little message, monogram, um, your initial. Okay, so I have this rhinestone adhesive paper and you just kind of cut it out what you'd like to use, peel it off, there's some backing and stick it on. Add a little bit of bling to the edge of the frame of this mirror. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out a few pieces. Keep in mind, these are awesome DIY gifts. And they can also go somewhere like in your kitchen or your bedroom. It doesn't just have to be for your bathroom. So there's so many different things that you can do with these. They're just so cute. I love this. Here is the final result of the towels and the mirror with the cute message on it and also the little vase. I think these items came out absolutely lovely. I can't wait to put these up in my bathroom. The final result, if you'd like to see the final result of my bathroom decor series, um, there will be videos in this playlist to show you exactly how everything turned out. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up. If you did enjoy it, hopefully you received some really cool ideas or some inspiration to do something like this for your bathroom. There are so many different ways that you can do these decals or what type of decals you can put on your items and the different colors that you can choose from. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to. If not, thanks for stopping by this channel. Bye-bye.